What's up, y'all? I have been slacking on opening my sneaker boxes here. Shipments of sneaker boxes from Trade Block, from eBay, from different retail places, uh, and some fakes too are in here. I got just a big ass pile of sneakers. And I gotta open them all up and figure out what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna do, what kind of content I'm gonna make, all that kind of stuff. So, I had to do this handheld just to show you how much I got here. It's too much, it's too much, it's too much. But um, we're gonna get through it. You and me, we're gonna get through it. Uh, I'm just gonna make a big pile right here. Typically the FedEx boxes are the fakes. And anything that looks shady like this, fake. Bruh. You know what, fake. I can tell the fakes. I'm just gonna put them on the fake side. You're fake too. And I'll put the reels on the real side. Good God! I might as well start with this one. All right, but I gotta adjust shit. So give me, give me a sec. Three days later. This one just came in today. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's gonna be a long day without a knife. Where's my knife? Here we go. All right, this thing can... Be gone. Where you going? Where you going? Go right there. That's where you belong. All right. One, two, three. Now I finally see this monitor here. Good Lord. I don't like that. Uh, you're basically looking at my crotch. Let me move this. There, there's like that. Editor batch here. The idiot that was recording this and unboxing. The absolute moron turned off the downward facing camera, thinking he turned it on. It was already on. So he's gonna talk to you like you can see from that camera, but you can't. And I'm gonna leave it in just to show you how dumb that guy is. And this, for some reason, it's like that, but now it's like that. All right. Oh, this is a uh, little helicopter project me and my daughter made. Okay, in order of coolness to me, uh, this is a trade on trade block. There is the trade right there on the screen. This is a Cardinal Red. Let's check out the Cardinal Red. It is legit. And look at that Rand. The Rand is right. This is a legit shoe. Looking good. This is uh, actually Chiefs colors and I live in Kansas City, so. I'm not a Chiefs fan, I'm not really an NFL fan, but you know, if I'm going to a sports bar, I wanna look cool. All right, I don't know if that's probably gonna be worn because this is a brick, but uh, like I said, Chiefs colors. So we're going with it. This is a Jordan 5 Low Chinese New Year. I've actually been after this for about a year. I like it. I think it's cool, but uh, Jordan 5 Lows any Jordan 5 really isn't on like a hype radar. So not a whole lot of people had this, but I was able to make a trade for it and I'm excited. So it looks like we got some cool stuff on the box, significant to Chinese New Year. Here's the shoe. These are clean. So one thing I didn't notice about these is that the there's, there's two materials, there's one on top of a pattern here. And you got the pattern underneath there that is the that is significant for Chinese New Year. This is a caution. I don't know exactly why it's there. I I didn't really I don't know really the story behind this shoe, but I'm gonna guess it's fireworks related. Leave a note in the comments. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. There's the backs there. Underneath is a very nice creamy off-white. I love the colors on this. And then another detail that I like, see the teeth are red, and then they have kind of a yellow shadowing going on here. Same thing as the box cover here. I think that looks really, really cool. You can do it with red laces, super underrated. Uh, these are gonna be a personal wear, nobody really wants them. I'm fine with that. All right, and this is my very, very, very first pair of Teddy Santis anything, aside from Amy Leon Dore, just him, Teddy Santis, and it is my first 990 also. Uh, I think this is 990 version three. 
the trader listed it as size 10 and a half, which is my size. It turned out to be size 11. Trade block asked me if I wanted to continue with the trade. I did looking for a size swap or maybe I'll just keep it. Maybe I'll trade it for something in my size, but it is a super clean shoe and I'm really stoked about it. There's a trade block thingamajiggy. Put it with all my other trade block thingamajiggies. Look at this, look at this, crazy. Trade blocks made a lot of money off of me. Now, right now, this is not really the time of year for these shoes. This is more of a spring shoe, but super clean. I can't wait to wear it in the spring. It's white and gray. It's got like a carbon fiber shank here in the middle. This is my first time actually inspecting a 990 also. Got a ran on the front, got a different selection of materials here. We got leather, leather, we got mesh, cotton. Not sure what the N is. It's definitely an interesting texture. These are made in the USA, right there in the back. I don't know, these are clean. And Teddy Santis is always gonna add his little touch to it and he's a big fan of making things look a little bit aged. At least that's his style from what I've noticed and I'm a fan of wearing things that look aged so it's like super bright white with aged but I think it's fine. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it, if it's too big, I'm gonna try them on. One thing I would like to say though is why is Amy Leon Dore making these cheap ass boxes for their hype 550s and then the regular New Balance gets a nice hard box. Why don't we do this with the Amy Leon doors? Why do we have to have that shitty ass cardstock? Anyway. All right, that was a real, let's do a fake. This is one that the seller sent for comparison on this next one, I believe. And this is a custom done on Instagram based off of obviously Travis Scott Lowe and some race car. I'm not gonna ever be insincere to you folks. I have no knowledge of race cars or even cars, frankly. I have a Ford Escape and it gets me from point A to point B and the inside is really messy and I don't really care about cars. But I do think that this style is super dope. I just realized I wasn't recording on the top one because I'm stupid. So you you probably already saw a video of me showing shit on the camera that's not even recording. I'm gonna keep it in though. I want you guys to know how dumb I really am. Don't open the box with sharp objects. Avoid scratching the product. All right, I will do this thing. So this is a clever cutter for those kinds of safety box opening scenarios. You guys can let me know in the comments exactly what all this stuff means, but they also made a custom box for it too. And this custom box is absolutely beautiful. It's white, it's got this nice light blue on the sides. Looks like some advertising branding having to do with the race car that it is representing. Oh, what is this? It says, Jack Boys. Cactus Jack. Oh, does he have a race car? Travis Scott, Sheck, Wes, and Don Tolliver. It features guest appearances from Rosalia, Lil Baby, Quavo, Offset, Young Thug, and Pop Smoke. So is it a song? I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm 42 years... Oh shit, I just turned 43. I'm 43 years old. Not that that really matters in the grand scheme of things. You have to understand this is a custom. Nike's never gonna make this. Uh, Jordan's never gonna make this. So it is cool that they decided on this kind of packaging. It's very, very customized. Very, very cool. Still counterfeit. Why is it still counterfeit? Intellectual property. Bam, 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 bam. All the intellectual property on this still makes it counterfeit. Got a Jack Boys keychain. Oh, this is fire though. I don't even like race cars or anything, but this is a super fire. Super dope. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's it's gonna, yeah, there we go. That is a super, super dope keychain. I'm feeling that and I'm keeping that. Put it in my pocket right now. Let's get rid of this shit too. I'm not gonna go too in depth on this. Uh, just showing you what we have in here. What is going on here? 
Maybe this is to hang this. And then, what? Wow, we got like a custom, custom bottom too, which they didn't have to do. They, it looks like they spared very little expenses here on making this. The seller gave me his version, and then he also gave me a competitor's version to compare on another video. Uh, so I don't want to go too in depth on that, but that was really nice looking. All right, authentic. Ah, very simple trade. I traded my bleached coral, is that what they were called? For stealths, one for one, that was it. Technically, the other trader won in the deal because of value, but I like this shoe better. So I don't really care. I was really interested in feeling this supposed goat's leather. It does definitely feel different. Now, I don't know if Rose Anvil did anything on this. The white definitely doesn't feel anything. It just feels like polyurethane. But I will say that the gray definitely feels different. Super clean. I don't know why these are sitting, but whatever. Now, I also wanted to see this. The laces were apparently in a box, the extra laces. And I want to see this box. Is it here? Yeah. In an effort to save plastic, I think this is awesome. It's a cardboard shoelace box, it says shoelaces, in the style of Virgil Abloh, to be honest with you. It's all caps, just no quotation marks. Move to zero. This box is 100% recyclable, 100% Jordan. Nike's journey toward a zero, Carson and zero waste future. I think that's supposed to say carbon, but that definitely looks like an S. Anyway. All right, another fake. 700 V2, 700 V1s are my favorite, but we'll see what we got going on here. Ah, hospital blue. Now, obviously, if they come in plastic like this, they fake. See that uh, Ziploc bag and shit? And this crap right here, you can buy total sets of these for three, four bucks. You can buy like a pack of each of these things. So don't ever look at these things and think that that means that it is actually a real shoe. These are fake. Now, are they good? Yeah. Smell like glue, but the product is good. Real boost, fire color, digging it. Might make a video on it, might not, I don't know. I don't even know if the seller's around anymore. Don't care. Frankly, I'm kind of done with Yeezy, like the, the person, Kanye West, but there are still some shoes that I like. Let's go legit, what do we got here? Oh, this is, oh my God. This took forever to get here. This is a grail. Suspense got this too, and he said it was basically underwhelming because of how good the fakes are. Somebody was selling this for a thousand flat, except it was coming from like Belgium or something. So there might be some different markings on here. There is no suggested retail. I'm assuming that this sticker is StockX's bullshit. It looks a little bit old, a little bit beat up, which this shoe is years old. So that's a good sign. If you're buying a fake, typically everything is like pristine. It's a good size too. Typically, the fakes will be a little bit undersized for what you're expecting. They're saving space. There's not a lot of space saving here. Yeah, and this, this paper, or plastic rather, has been taken back and forth and back and forth over and over and over. And damn, there's my grail. One of my grails. Mm-hmm, she legit. Scared to wear it, probably won't wear it. Probably just gonna use it for comparisons, uh, for fake comparisons, for legit checking. Leave a comment below, let me know um, if you like Jordan 5s, and if so, what is your favorite Jordan 5? I think this is my favorite Jordan 5. I mean, if it's one of my grails, and I have no other Jordan 5 grails, then, then this has to be it. I think the construction is so unique and beautiful, and the colors, the name, muslin, I mean, just the concept, everything about it, I just think is stunning for basically reimagining a classic OG shoe in a streetwear brand artist's uh, eyes. 
So I think this is gorgeous. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm gonna do future videos with these just to use them as comparisons. Now fake. Tiny ass box. Whole lot of tape. Look at all that damn tape. No outer carton. So I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I don't accept shoes with no outer carton. I just don't. This is cheap. Uh, if I'm gonna take my time to film a shoe, then they're gonna take their time to package it right. So they're lost. I'm not making, whatever this is, I'm not making a video on it. I don't give a I do have to take a picture of it for proof. Probably gonna be damaged. There always is. Yeah, this thing is all bulging. I can feel how dented it is. Have a little pride. Sellers, you wanna send me a pair because you want them to go on air and how they look on camera. I know I sound like a diva, but I take pride. Why shouldn't they? Trash. Something else to throw out. Trash. Look at this. Look at this. They want this on camera? Get the f out of here. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the orange ones too. Too bad, so sad. So these are the orange lobsters. We're looking at teal extra laces. What do you guys think? I'm not sure what the extra lace is supposed to be. And then we're looking at, looks like navy blue rubber bands. Not sure about that either. The laces do have kind of a coral tint to them. Here's both of them. They're actually in good condition, but I go over the boxes too, and I'm not going over a ruined box for a brand new shoe, okay? Not doing it. This is trash, socks. Socks are not gonna buy me off. Get of here, that bull. Here's a double from, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. These are two grails. These are GRs. They will be re-released every decade or so. So the value will go down, but I traded my All Hallows Eve Blazers, size 11 DS for, but these are two OG grails of mine. And these are the best versions of them that are currently out on the market uh, as far as being closest to the original and also for being newer, being a good quality. So this is Jordan 3 Black Cement. This is Jordan 4 Bread. Two OGs, they're technically GRs. So I traded a fire shoe for GRs. Technically, I got the better of the value. However, these will get re-released and then the value of these will go down. The 2012s of these, the earlier versions of these, it's gonna be the same. Yeah, he is missing the plastic. He told me that. Legit, smells good. Definitely gonna do a comparison on these. One of my favorite Jordans ever, this colorway. This is my second retail fire. And here's the black cements. Got the tape for these. Oh, uh, was this the flecking ear? Looks flecked. Looks like there's been some flecking. Man, that looks pretty bad. I don't know if you guys can see it in the in the camera or not. It's it's part of the finish. It's giving that glittery fleck look, and it kind of appears whitish too. But I'm looking at the monitor. I really don't see it. Let me know in the comments. Anybody that has these, uh, what is the condition of the leather? What's it look like? And were they worn? Were they unworn? These are unworn. You know, that could be it. They were, they're sitting in this box all this time. And I remember Jordan Brand at one small portion of time was using a paint that ended up glittering like this. So maybe this is uh, one of those. We'll see. This thing's yellow. Is this supposed to be yellow or did it just oxidize that fast? Uh, fast, but a few years. Let me know in the comments as well. It's our last fake. This is what I think it is. Yes. So this is Fire Red, which I've already, I think I've done videos on before, but this is the best version. The seller that sells this particular version, he only has specific Jordan 4s 
that uh, he specializes in. He sells other stuff, but he specializes in certain Jordan 4s. This is one of those special Jordan 4s that I might prepare to be indistinguishable from retail. We will see. I am actually working on a Jordan 4 Fire Red project right now with a wing replacement, but we will see. We will compare these to uh, retail and see how they look. Now I'm telling you right now, I don't see, I, I had a pair, I don't see anything distinguishable at all. Even the smell is not, it's not a Jordan smell, but it doesn't smell like glue either. So it would give anyone pause. Yeah, all the stitching is really nice and straight. I don't really see any glue. See the thing about a lot of these replica factories that are making high tier, they're cleaner than retail, typically. I mean, take take the Travis Scott 4s, for instance. Travis Scott 4 retail is a glue fest. All of them are a glue fest. And the replicas, the good ones, are real nice and clean. Oh, some extra butter. Yeah, this is a retail. What retail is this, you may ask? Don't know, don't remember. It's New Balance. All right, New Balance. Oh, <laughs> I got another pair of, oh, this is nice though. I got another pair of the Mirage Gray 2002Rs. I already have a pair of these, I wear them, I love them. I just got a second pair for trade bait. These are so underrated. These are the closest thing that we're gonna have to the Rain Cloud 2002Rs, which are very expensive on the resale market. These are a very nice replacement. I love wearing these, these are great, and they were easy to get. These were easy to get, and those orange ones are easy to get, but I think they're beautiful. Uh, there's also the pink ones I want too. So, these are fire. Materials are really nice and soft. I love wearing this shoe. I love the way it looks when I wear it. If you don't, buy shoes to wear them, you're lost. Because those are beautiful. Another trade block. Oh, snap. This is probably the most expensive shoe I now own. And this is my first time ever touching one. This is an authentic Air Jordan 1 High Union Black Toe. This will be great for comparisons with fakes. Smell test. She passes. Very soft. We have a felt swoosh. Feels almost worn in a little bit. There's that off-white midsole, that blue stitching. Piping, the yellow piping is not like crazy like it is on some replicas. It is there, it is beautiful. I always wondered about it because there's some replicas that it's like this thick coat of paint basically that they put there and it looks terrible. And then there's some that look like this. So you gotta be careful. The two-tone laces here, and then we have some more laces here. Just gold and then it's in the reverse. Yeah, black tips with off-white body. The Union Tag, another good tell for Union Fakes is the tag. Typically there will be a little nub in between his arm here and there is no nub there. And it is also pretty rigid. It, it moves a little bit, but some of the fakes are just like super floppy and weak. So just so you know, those things, Graily McGrailums of Grailvania. Now, that's not my favorite Union 1 Jordan. My favorite is the Blue Toe. Once I'm done with this one, I am going to try to trade it for a Blue Toe. And that's gonna be my keeper. Ah, turning a pair of shoes and she gave me a look at this New Balance shirt. Burgundy. Mmm, smells really good too. So thank you person that sent this to me. You know who you are. Thank you for uh, bringing this back to me. Uh, these are just these, what is it called? Pure violet that nobody seems to want. I don't know. Their size, 11 women's, nine and a half men's. And I'm stuck with them. And here's the last, but not the least. 
Oh, yes. I got the whole family. Forgot about these two. Now, when a particular shoe comes in different colorways, we all have our favorites. It is subjective. This is also the Off-White 5, but this is the Corn Maze or the Sale. Oh, it is Sale. I don't know where I'm getting Corn Maze from. Maybe it's because I live in the Midwest, I don't know. But this is the yellow of the two. So again, a little bit beat up. Should kind of look like it's been, you know, taken in and out of places. <laughs> Same with the plastic. Should look like it's been messed with, unless it came from the factory. The color, I don't know if the replica factory's really perfected this color. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be in hand. So I am going to need to get a replica of this to check it out. I know the 23 is usually, or was an easy tell. It was too small on most of them. Oh, that's kind of big, I'll measure that. This is not my favorite of the two, but I like that I have them both. I have the family together. And uh, anyway, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Don't sell reps as retail. Please remember to check out my retail only channel. The link is in the description below. Please check out the new Discord if you have any questions about the fakes. They might get answered on Discord. Uh, that link, that invite link is also in the description below. And remember, real sneakerheads show love.